just played a tough game where your opponent got a generous call by the referee that, that allowed the other team to score. If there was an instant replay like there is in the NFL, you know for a fact that the play would have been called back and your team most likely would have won. As it happened, you're knocked out of the playoffs and the season ends on a sour note. It's painful to lose that way. It, it actually physically hurts sometimes. And what if you're the one who was involved in that play? Yeah, double the frustration, embarrassment, and disappointment. Or maybe the defeat was totally under your control, like when Brett Favre and the Minnesota Vikings in the 2009 NFC Championship game, he threw an interception to give away the game in the final minutes. All he had to do was run out of bounds and his team was a lock to win and go on to win the Super Bowl. How do you come back from such crushing defeats? You start your comeback by asking yourself, what is your real purpose for playing? You know, when I'm working with an athlete one-on-one, -on -one, this question, it comes up and I usually try to kind of be a mixture of funny and sarcastic when I say, is your entire purpose for playing your game, your sport, to have, uh, to have won? Is that the whole reason? Of course, the answer is almost always no. And then I ask him to tell me what are their reasons for playing their sport. And I found out that, uh, well, you know, the athletes play for things like the excitement of competition, the challenge of pushing myself, the confidence I get from becoming physically and mentally stronger through the game and the workouts, the training, the discipline, the respect I get from teammates, my peers, and even adults for, for living this way every day, the commitment, the determination, the grit. You know, maybe even the physical contact if you're in a sport like that. Achieving new skills, making great plays, right? Hearing coaches and fans scream, the atmosphere and environment of a game or the, the competition, the camaraderie possibly of being on a team. So after we've developed this huge list that includes things like I mentioned above, I then ask the athlete, is any of that going away because you lost that game or had that choke? Of course not. It's all still there ready for you to go at it again and again and again because you love that sport and everything about it. Now it's perfectly normal and natural to be very disappointed and sad after a big loss or mistake. Go ahead and give yourself a period of time to go through that. And when you're done with that, declare to yourself that you're going back out there and playing your sport with all you got because of that list that we just talked about, the things you love about it. That's how you come back from, from defeat. By the way, Favre's backup on the sidelines, Sage Rosenfels, he wrote about that game. Quote, I remember it as one of the best performances of Favre's career despite that last throw. He also told Favre as he came back to the bench after the play, quote, Brett, you are the most amazing football player I've ever seen. It has been an unreal experience to watch you play this year. I can't really describe the look he gave me, Rosenfeld said, but I can tell those words meant something to him. A few words like that from a coach or teammate will speed the process of coming back. I'm Craig Sigel, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this.